Okay, so deer is completely flipped on the bonus point table, and that's why the 10% being flipped into 5 and 5 this year is going to affect you. So maximum points for deer this year is 19. There's four residents and 136 non-residents with 19 points. You go down to 18, there's 10 residents and 169 non-residents that have the, those point levels for deer. Coos deer and mule deer are lumped together. You can apply for one or the other on your application. Let's just talk about the sought after units, the strip. Okay, so for this year, 13A, which is the east side of the strip, okay, the, the second class unit compared to 13B. 13A, there are 60 permits total available. Now this draw, they don't do it at the species level, they do it at the hunt level. So they get down to, the, to everybody who's put 13A on their application, now they're gonna do the draw. So now our 10% applies for non-residents. We can have up to 10% of the tags, so we can have six tags total. Historically, what has happened, the 10% cap applied even in the bonus pass. So they would do the first pass and they would give all six of those tags in the non-residents. So if you did not have maximum points, you had no chance of drawing 13A whatsoever. You weren't even in the drawing by the time they got to the second pass. Arizona, what they decided to do is split that. So now, it's five and five. So you get 5% in this first pass, and then you get 5% in, in the one, two pass, or the second pass, okay? If you have maximum points, this is not in your favor, because they just cut your tags in half. Now you're, you're chasing for three tags there, and the rest of us have a chance at a random tag, you know, up to three for non-residents. This is the big change. Okay, so now you look at, let's say 13B, there's 75 permits, this is the number one choice, this is, these are both rifle hunts, mind you, so we still get our up to 10 percent as non-residents, okay, so that's seven permits. The way they'll divide that out is three and four permits, okay, so if you're one of these 136 people with 19 points, going into the bonus pass, the first pass, you have a chance at three permits. That is it. You used to have a chance at seven, now you have a chance at up to three, okay? You're probably gonna get all three because there's only four residents contending for those tags. <clears throat> the random guys who had a zero chance, meaning everybody below that point level, now we have a chance at up to four tags. Not a guaranteed chance these four tags, we're going to be competing against every other random applicant, resident or non-resident, and we probably won't see all four of these tags go to a non-resident. That's what has changed for this year. Another thing to remember when you're choosing a deer unit or any of these other ones, if there's only one tag available to non-residents, so say uh, 12B West muzzleloader, this year, there's only 15 total tags, so that means non-residents can only have one tag. And you say, well, geez, that one tag should go to the guy with the most points. No, Arizona said, we want to make that random. So if you have max points in the first pass, there's zero tags available. Random, there's up to one. Okay, so you're going in random. Even if you have maximum points, you cannot draw that in the bonus pass. You're going to draw it in the random pass, if at all. So hopefully this helps you understand the Arizona draw a little bit. Send us your questions. Give us a call. Um, choose some good units for this year. Don't choose a unit you have no chance at. Keep it in for Arizona. You'll draw some here and have a chance at some of the best animals there are. Thanks.